today I'm bringing you five more Gates of Malkuth, all centered around that hidden path from Gedula to Malkuth. Now, again, this is the path, I mean, yes, this is the path that uh, has to do with the quality and quantity of your connections to all of the collective awarenesses that you are a part of, no matter how involved you are in any one of those collectives, how consciously involved, how, you know, just plain culturally involved, no matter that is all contained right here because it's again about that urge to merge in the important role that it plays in the existence of all things okay not just humans but all things okay now these hidden paths that form gates around Malkuth are very personal. Um, they change their content, if you will, changes ever so slightly with each incarnation. Okay, that uh, <clears throat> that path from Hokma straight to Malkuth that contains that your little bit of essential meaning that you are expressing that translates as your DNA, that changes with each lifetime. Sometimes it changes only a little. Sometimes it changes a lot. Uh, frequently, when you encounter the incarnation of... Uh, how to put it? Okay, I've encountered reincarnations. Well, we all have encountered reincarnations of people from the past who we can identify, who we have pictures of, or who we knew in the past. They often look very similar in appearance. That's that unique personal expression of essential meaning, and that evolves each lifetime. It evolves just a little bit, and so there's always changes. And same with that that path that we follow, that that hidden path from Bina to Malkuth. Our karma, our fate, whatever, changes with each lifetime. We certainly carry a lot of baggage with us in that regard. So there's a lot of continuity, but still, it's slightly different each lifetime. So it's the same with this path from Gedjula to Malkuth, and likewise with the path, hidden path from Gebura to Malkuth. And the gates that stem from these two are very similar to each other, okay? So, <clears throat> with this path, we have one linear gate, one triangular gate, two quadrangular gates, and one pentangular gate. Okay, first gate is a linear gate, that hidden path from Gedula down to Malkuth and back. And with this gate, you learn everything about the collective awarenesses that you are a part of. And the deeper you go with this gate, the more control you will have over the quality and quantity, meaning how consciously you participate in the collective, you will have that control over your connection with these various collectives. Okay. So, the second gate, uh, gate number 115, 
is a quadrangle. And the next three gates here, uh, the two quadrangles and the pentangle, all relate this connection to collectivity with that path of karma. And it shows you the connection between the karma you experience in this lifetime, the path that you are following this lifetime, and the role that that collective awarenesses play in your trotting of that path. Okay. So, the first one is a quadrangle, and it goes from Gajula down to Malkuth, from Malkuth, up that hidden path, all the way to Bina. Shin over to Hakma. Okay. And then Gimel, Jupiter, down to Gajula. Okay. And then back around. <clears throat> now, so this puts this association between the collectivity and one's own uh, path in the context of Hokmah and, well, in the context of Shin, Hokmah, and Jupiter, okay? So that expands the context. It, <clears throat> It explains one of the ways that this path is connected with this path, okay? The, the Bina, um, all the way down to Malku. Okay, the next gate, 116, is another quadrangle. And it, again, goes from Kajula down that hidden path to Malkuth, up the hidden path to Bina, up Vav, Taurus, to Kether, and down that hidden path from Kether to Gedjula. And then back around, okay? <clears throat> and again, it puts this dynamic between the hidden path between Gedjula and Malkuth hidden path between Bina and Malkuth, it places it in context with Taurus, Taurus, Vav, and Kether. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the fourth gate is gate 117, and this is the pentangle. And it kind of combines the two previous um, gates, but it involves different paths, okay? So, we begin in Gedjula, take that hidden path down to Malkuth, hidden path up to Bina, Vav, Taurus, up to Kether, he Aries, down to Hokma and uh, Gimel, Jupiter, down to get Jula, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> the really important parts about this that, that really explain the connection between this and this are the Vav, the He, and the Gimel, okay? So really special attention has to be paid to the working of those three parts of the gate, especially. Okay, now the fifth gate is different from the previous three because it's not about the relationship between the collectivity and one's path. It's about the 
relationship between collectivity and one's essential meaning, one's expression of one's essential meaning, okay? And the important integral role that these play together. So, this is 118, and it starts in Ketula, passes down that hidden path to Malkuth, up that hidden path from Malkuth all the way to Chokmah, and then down um, Gimel and Jupiter to Gedula, and then back around. So this is a kind of a scrunched in gate and really shows the intimate nature uh, of their relationship between these two factors, these very personal factors, they're incarnational only factors. Remember in the very beginning and speaking about the hidden paths, that they are more personal than the lettered paths. The lettered paths are more universal, but the hidden paths are very specific and it's no no other place is really more apparent than here in these four hidden paths that shape who you are in your physical body in this moment. Okay. So, that's it for today. And next time will be the same sort of relationships between the um, hidden path between Gebura and Malku. Okay. So, <clears throat> Till then, bye-bye.